Subtracting mixed numbers, special cases. There are two types of special cases in subtracting mixed numbers. The first is when the top numerator is too small, because I can't subtract two from one. The second case is where the top fraction is missing. Let's look at the one where the top numerator is too small. This is no different in concept than, is, say, subtracting 43 from 171. First, we have to borrow from the 7 in order to make the 1 greater than the 3. So the 7 becomes a 6. And then we add 10 to the 1, making it 11. We do this because our numbering system is base 10. That's why we don't add 5 or 6. That's why we add 10. So we can't take 2 from 1, so we have to borrow. The question is, how do you borrow from a whole number and apply it to a fraction? First, you subtract 1 from the whole number. All right, well, here's your theory alert. We're going to take the 17, we're going to th think of it as 16 plus 1. The 1, we're going to think of as 5 over 5. And then the 5 over 5 plus the 1 over 5 becomes 6 over 5. So it becomes 16 and 6 fifths. That's the theory. In reality, what, you, what you're most likely going to do is you're going to borrow 1 from the 16 or the 17 to make it 16. Then you're going to add the denominator to the numerator to make your new numerator. Because what we're doing is when we borrowed with regular numbers, we, we want to treat our denominator as if it was the base. So that's what you add. So now we can go ahead and subtract. So when we subtract the whole numbers, 16 minus 4 is 12. And when we subtract the numerators, 6 minus 2 is 4. The denominator did not change. Now let's look at one where the top fraction is missing. This is no different in concept than, say, subtracting 54 from 130. First, we have to borrow from the 3 in order to make the 0 greater than the 4. So the 3 becomes a 2. And then, just like before, we're going to add 10 to the 0, which makes it 10. Again, we're adding 10 because 10 is our, we, our numbering system is in base 10. So in this case, but wait a minute, I don't have a fraction there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 0 over 7 to represent that fraction. But now I've got a situation where the top numerator is too small. I can't take 2 from 0. So now we're back to the previous situation. So we have to borrow. Borrow from the 1, or from the 13, which makes it 12. We add the 7 to the 0, which makes 7 for the new numerator. Again, we're adding the denominator because we want to treat our denominator as if it was our base. And now we subtract the whole number parts and the numerators. So 12 minus 4 gives us 8 and 7 minus 2 gives us 5. And of course, the denominator stays the same. 